ECDL Advanced Access Lesson 46 Checkboxes Checkbox controls can be added to forms when a yes-no type of answer is required. For example, check the box for yes. OK, let's open the premises database again and display the new premises form in design view. The fields Occupied, Lift and Disabled Access are defined in the table as yes-no fields and therefore checkboxes have been automatically assigned to them by default when they were included in the form. Close the form and open the commercial table in design view. View the field properties for the Occupied field and click the Lookup tab. The Display Control property defines how the field will be displayed and by default it's set to checkbox for a yes-no field. As an aside, the alternative display options a text box or combo box. Close the commercial table and open the new premises form in design view. Make sure the use control wizards option is turned on so that would be design then within controls more and yes, I've got my control wizards on at the moment. Click Add Existing Fields to display the field list. Drag the Public Address field onto the form just below the Offers field. It appears as a checkbox. With the checkbox still selected, Press Delete. The field is removed. Checkboxes can be added manually. Select the Checkbox button from the Expanded Controls group and click underneath Offers. View the property sheet for the checkbox, that's the checkbox, not the label. Select the All tab and change the name to Public Address. Click in Control Source and click the drop down arrow on the right. Scroll down the list and select the Public Address field as the source to be attached to this checkbox. Close the property sheet. Change the label to public address. Move it to the left of the checkbox. Then save the form and switch to form view. Now close the form and the database. We've now reached the end of lesson 46 and in the next lesson we'll deal with option groups. Okay, I look forward to seeing you then.